Hi students, welcome to today's online class. Today in this session we will learn about uh, all the data transmission medias. So in the previous class we learned about data communication. So what is a data communication? So data communication it uh, refers to the way of uh, exchanging digital messages. The devices uh, which helps the communication channel are uh, a twisted pair, coaxial cable and a different trans these all are transmission medias through which we are exchanging the messages uh, between the devices. So basically this tra data transmission media as categorized into two ways that is of guided transmission media and unguided transmission media. So it is a transmission media is a path that enables the sender and receiver to be interconnected for the purpose of sending and receiving messages. So it's it's just like a path. So to if you want to send a message to any of the another system, so it needs any of the media, right? So we are talking about that data transmission media only. Guided transmission media and unguided transmission media are two different types of transmission medias. So in guided transmission media, we will see any of the physical equipments like uh, cables we can say guided or you can call it as a bounded so the data signals uh, travel through a cabling system in a guided media so this system directs the data signals to a specific path some of the examples of uh, guided media is a twisted pair uh, coaxial cable and a fiber optic cable we can say so whereas uh, for unguided transmission media so it may be uh, the media may be of air or it may be of sky wave propagation or uh, it may be of a line of sight propagation or a ground wave propagation these are the uh, wireless wireless we can say wireless for uh, unguided transmission media or unbounded transmission media so in this session we will learn a detail about uh, uh, guided transmission medias that are twisted pair cable coaxial cable and uh, fiber optics cable so in the next class we will see about uh, unguided transmission mediums okay so coming to twisted pair cable it is of a made up of uh, two copper wires which are twisted so one wire transmits the data signal to the receiver and the other wire is made as a ground reference twisted of uh, wires reduces the electrical interference from similar pairs so when the number of twisted pairs run uh, in parallel for a larger distance uh, they are bundled together in a cable by wrapping them in a protective shield. So another cable called unshielded pair you can say uh, in short we call it as a UTP. It is the most commonly used twisted pair cable. It does not have any shield. Uh, it is uh, mainly used in local area networks. So LANs using a twisted pair as a, a, a transmission medium. So when uh, uh, the data rates uh, depends on the thickness of the wire and the distance that is travelled between the transmitter and the receiver. There are some of the categories for uh, twisted pairs here. Uh, category 3, 5 and uh, the range of uh, data transmission is uh, from starting from 10 Mbps and uh, to uh, it can handle high data rates up to 100 Mbps in a, a, a twisted pair data transmission medium. So there are some of the advantages here. So twister cable uh, are uh, very less expensive. So it is widely used for a telephone system and uh, residential internet access. So these twister pairs are used to, to transmit both analog and uh, digital transmissions. So if you see some of the disadvantages here, it is not suitable for uh, broadband connections. So in the next uh, previous class we learned about broadband. So it has high error rate, so it can broken easily, this twisted pairs, it can cannot travel long distances. So the next uh, data transmission media which is uh, unbounded is of uh, coaxial cable. The best example for a uh, coaxial cable is uh, the uh, cable which is connected to the set of box in your home. So it is one of the coaxial uh, cable uh, we can uh, see, the same you can observe the figure the exact figure you can see in your home also. 
so it is uh, covered uh, with a plastic cover in that uh, one of the insulating material will be there that is of outer conductor like uh, it's uh, it's like a mesh and uh, inner part you can see copper wire so coaxial cable has a excellent pro protection mechanism so it can span large distances it has a higher data transfer rates of up to 500 mbps so this is a twisted pair of 100 mbps whereas coaxial cable is of 500 mbps two kinds of twisted coaxial cables are there that are base band and broadband coaxial cable this base band are <coughs> lightweight and uh, its units are measured in uh, ohm cable so it is uh, about of a uh, centimeter thick this base band uh, uh, coaxial cable and the data transmission cables bandwidth is used to transmit single stream of uh, data so it is commonly used in uh, local area networks so the disadvantage of this base band uh, coaxial cable is uh, it needs uh, repeaters so we already learned what is a repeater uh, repeater is a device which uh, amplifies the signals so for every uh, kilometer to strengthen the data signal repeaters are needed in baseband coaxial cable and uh, uh, if we talk about broadband coaxial uh, cable here it's mainly used in a uh, uh, television uh, uh, telecasting uh, programs in a uh, television so it, uh, larger distance can be there for this uh, broadband coaxial cable so it needs uh, amplifiers in place of uh, repeaters uh, in broadband uh, the device called amplifiers uh, for every uh, few kilometers uh, to strengthen the analog signals periodically the units are uh, 75 ohm cable we call it as advantages are uh, it is easy to install and maintain so it is used for both uh, analog and digital signals it is uh, very less expensive when compared to fiber optic cables it provides a great noise immunity no disturbances uh, occurs when we use broadband coaxial cable the disadvantages include it is not capable with uh, twisted pair cables so it is highly expensive compared to twisted pair cable so the third one is uh, fiber optic cable so fiber optic is uh, a guided transmission media capable of uh, guiding an optical ray so in this uh, data transmission media the light uh, can be transmitted instead of electrical signals to transmit signals so an optical fiber is made up of uh, glass or uh, plastic with a diameter of uh, 8 to 100 meters uh, home meters uh, the core is uh, surrounded by the cladding so as we know light can be travel with a very high speed uh, in the universe so in this fiber optic cable light travels so the purpose of uh, cladding is to keep all the core that would otherwise escape from the core these are bundled together it's like a uh, thin size uh, no uh, like our hair we can see so uh, it it, uh, it it can sustain uh, for all the moisture or any of the environmental factors so it can be made up of uh, plastic or a metal so you can observe here figure the core metal is uh, surrounded by a cladding which is again surrounded by a jacket so when light is introduced into end of the fiber it is transmitted to other end by the user so advantages includes it is specially used in industrial and manufacturing purposes to avoid the noisy noisy areas in especially in noisy areas these cables are used so it is very small in size and has less weight it is less expensive it provides a high degree of signal security signal security uh, can be very high compared to all of the data transmission medias here so it is a uh, rigid and flexible in nature rigid means it's very strong it cannot uh, 
uh, uh, you cannot see any damages for this uh, fiber optic uh, cables so it provides high bandwidth so some of the disadvantages uh, here are uh, so attenuation offered by the optical fibers depends upon the material which are used uh, with it so complex electronic circuitry is uh, required to transmitter and uh, receiver coupling of optical fibers is uh, difficult here so skilled labors are required so to give the supply of this fiber optic cables so separated power supply is required for electronic repeaters at different stages so uh, these are specially used for uh, telephone communications which are uh, digged under the earth so these communications are advanced technology we can say in the next class we will see about unguided media or unbounded media thank you we will see in the next class